the picture shown over here is um, artist concept of a GPS satellite constellation and uh, we can assume there are three or four orbits of satellite which are rotating around the earth and what we see in the picture is at the center is the earth and there are three orbits it, the GPS system actually consists of a constellation of 27 earth orbiting satellites out of which 24 are in operation and three extra satellites are uh, acting as a standby which means out of the 24 if any one satellite goes out of order the other satellite comes into play which can be used as emergency and each of these are three to four thousand pounds and what we can see over here are so stretched solar cells which absorb the sunlight and power the satellites and the orbits are approximately located 12,000 miles away from the surface of the earth and the orbits are arranged so that at any time anywhere on the earth there are at least four satellite visible satellites visible in the sky well what everybody say uh, GPS I have a GPS device in my car or I have a portable GPS device it means that they basically have a GPS receiver with them that's not a total system of GPS I remain that I repeat it again as they have a GPS receiver and a GPS receivers job is to locate four or more satellites on the sky and it just calculates the distance between each satellite with respect to the receiver on that particular point of earth and uses this distance with each satellite as information to calculate its own location I repeat it again the GPS receivers job is to locate four or more satellites on the sky and the receiver calculates the distance between each satellite and the receiver and thus the distance this these distance are used as used to find out its own location and the operation is based on simple mathematical principle called trilateration and since directly if we jump into three-dimensional trilateration it will be very confusing so I will explain you first we'll go with uh, two-dimensional trilateration 